Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're going to show you how to make another widely used effect, the reverse reverb. We're going to be doing it on a vocal, just to give it a little bit of tension inside the verse. Let's dive into the DAW and take a look at how to do it. So here we are inside the session, and the guy in question is going to be this part right here. We're going to give him kind of a reverse reverb lead-in that goes from the first line into the second line here. Without it, it sounds like this. So you can hear that it's pretty bare right now. We're gonna put the reverse reverb on this one just to make it kind of draw you into the second line. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate our track completely. And I did that by right clicking on the track. So here we go. Now in your session, when you do this and duplicate a track completely, it pulls all of the audio files as well. If you just duplicate the track, it's an empty lane, but it still has the plugins and sends of the source track that you copied from. So I'm going to get rid of this track right here, and I'm going to do Shift T to do that. Now, I just want this little bit of audio so that we can create our reverse reverb. I'm going to clean it up. Here's my shortcut to trim to the play cursor from the start. And here's my shortcut to trim to the end. And I know that I'm safe doing this because on this track is only this vocal. So now that we've cleaned up our audio, we're gonna take the few steps that it takes to get the reverse reverb sound. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command R on my computer, or it could be Control R if you are on Windows. This reverses this audio. If we were gonna take a listen, that's L to locate to the start, and S to solo the track. It's reversed. You can hear on this track that it had some effects printed on, and I'm okay with that. We're just going to show you how to get the reverse reverb effect into this as well, because these will actually carry over later, and it'll still make a cool sound. So now that we've reversed our audio, we're going to open up our browser, and we need a reverb. I'm going to go with the room reverb here, and actually what we can do is just pull open any one of these presets. Let's go real crazy and do parking garage. Now what I'm doing is I'm dragging the preset and I'm holding Option on Mac or Alt on PC and I'm going to add it directly to this event as an event effects. So now when we actually open up our inspector, we can see that we have the option to render our effects. And the effects are down here. If we had more than one effect going on in our chain, we could render all of them at the same time. So, now that we've added this parking garage, let's hear how it sounds. Not bad, I think it's pretty good, but I'm actually gonna bring my mix up just a little bit and take another listen. So now, to make that reversed reverb effect, what we're going to do is we're going to render these event effects to the event itself. But something to keep in mind is you need to add tail onto this. This will add the time that the reverb needs to actually complete its cycles and get the reverb all the way down to inaudible. So I'm going to go crazy and add five seconds of tail. And then we hit render. So you can see it rendered our reverb right onto the track and it threw a fade out on there as well. So now, how do we get the reverse reverb? We use the same key command that we did before of Command R or Control R if you're on Windows to reverse our audio back. Now, the timing is off here. What we need to do is drag it back and then we can use the track above it as reference. And now we'll hit L to locate to the beginning and we'll take a listen. An empty shell. Let's put it into the track. In the silence, so what I actually want to do is I want to pull this back and delete a lot of this leading up to the vocal itself. 
I just want the sound of the reverb sucking you into this line. So you heard that reverb coming at you, and then the lead vocal took over. With a little more cleaning up, you can have this right on the beat so it pushes you right into that lead vocal. The reverse reverb is a nice tool to have in your arsenal. It's a great way to suck somebody into the lead vocal line that you wanna stress either coming out of a chorus or maybe just in the middle of the verse, just to add a little bit more tension. But you don't have to do this on just vocals. You can do this on anything you want. The way I like to do it is I make a copy of the part that I want to have the reverse reverb. Then reverse the audio, you add your reverb onto that new effect, give it some tail, render your effects, and then reverse it again. With a little bit of editing and cleaning up, you can have it smacked right onto the beat. That's all for now. If you found anything in this video informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.